Kanye will pick him 200K a month. And TMZ wrote, our sources say Kanye is not footing the full bill for child support. That's just his share. So I don't know if they're going 50-50 on that, like that it's 400,000 total that they that like they evaluate that they need for that they pay like 400,000 a month for the children which is insane or if it's or if Kanye shares 200,000 and Kim's is even more um not sure on that but that's where that's the number Kanye will be contributing and in addition he's responsible for 50% of their educational expenses uh which is including tuition and also responsible for 50% of the children's security expenses. That makes sense. Um, And if it says, if there's ever a dispute regarding the children, that they agree they will participate in mediation. If one of them fails to participate, the other gets to make the decision in a dispute by default, Um, which sounds like probably would work in Kim's favor. And as for property, the division of assets is in accordance with their prenup. And according to the prenup, both Kim and Kanye waive spousal support. So they don't have to be, you know, sending either of them money, which makes sense. I believe Kanye had bought that house that was like right across the street or next door or something. Kim got that in the divorce settlement. So he's not going to have that house, but all the other, his other property, he's basically keeping and, you know, Kim's keeping their big home and some of the other spots that that she has i believe the house next door that was like right when they i feel like that was like when they split and everyone was like ooh that's kind of sketch but she'll now she now has taken on her ownership for that house the home borders kim's lot so tmz wrote that they think she'll just likely tear it down and just add to all the acreage that they have uh Kanye will keep his $60 million home on the beach in Malibu, two ranches in Wyoming, 300 acres in Calabasas, a home in Belgium, home in Belgium. That's fun, I guess. And his childhood home, which he bought in Chicago. And then Kim will retain property that she owns in Idaho. And of course, her $60 million Hidden Hills estate uh, that the family lives in. It took them a while to get to this point. We know that they've been going through divorce proceedings for quite some time. But it's got to be a big relief for Kim that this is all settled and in writing sh- and signed and done. I am sure it is such a huge relief for her, especially everything going on with Kanye right now. She probably doesn't want to keep going back and forth. I'm actually shocked that it got done at this moment, considering everything that's happening. I feel like it would have been pushed off even more. But this seems like it's probably a good thing for Kim. Finalize it. And as long as Kanye just abides by what they have written down in contract, then they'll be good. I'm sure there will be some sort of fight or dispute in the future about whether Kanye wants to keep paying for things or his kids and where they're going to school, because that seems like the cycle that happens over and over and over again with him. But, you know, now that it's in writing, he's going to have to follow things or he's going to get in trouble. So that's probably great for Kim that now she has kind of the law on her side where if something happens and he doesn't want to do it, she's just got to break out those settlements and go, listen, you're going to get in trouble if you don't do this. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's big, too. Like I said, that if there are disputes about the children, it goes to mediation. And if if he doesn't show up or participate that just excludes him and the decision goes to Kim. Um, you know, I, I believe Kim hired, I believe Kim hired Laura Wasser, who is, you know, the celeb divorce attorney. She handles all the big celeb divorces. Like she's, she's the one you want. Um, do you see Kim's posts from there? Like, she wrote things at home that make me happy and like different pictures from inside the house. That house, I would love. It's like a museum to me. Like I, I just every picture I see of like a room, I'm like, how this doesn't look livable. I obviously they live there, but it just has no homey feel whatsoever. It's her style clearly. And they like it like that, but. It just like, you know, when you get out of bed and you're kind of still asleep or you're getting into bed, you're kind of still asleep 
and you and you take the corner of the, around the bed too close and you bang your knee mm-hmm. and it's like, oh, it hurts so bad. Her her bed or somebody's bed looks like it's on this giant stone slab. And that was just my first thought. I was just like, God, you bang your shin on that thing. <laughs> and that is that is no joke. You're living in a marble room. It feels like it looks you got like a shot. marble slab that the bed I, is just sitting on. I saw people were comparing her home to a psych ward, yeah. which seems pretty, I mean, accurate considering the pictures. Like it just, it's, it's very dull. Like I wouldn't want to There's live. just no, there's I no would like knickknacks. The size of the, I would <laughs> like the size of the house, right? Like every, yeah. everybody's dream is to have a big mansion like that. But maybe the house is so build- big. The house is so big that it has to be like this or else there would just be too much stuff. Right. But I don't want to feel like cold and dark in my own home. Like, I I feel like I would just get really down and there's no color and there's no homey vibe. It doesn't even seem like right. Like there's like you said, no knickknacks, no, no little things hanging around like, oh, we've had this for so long and now it's in our home. You know, just no comfy heated comforters or I don't even know heated comforts, heated blankets or just blank blankets that have been around for so long. That's like from a team that you like yeah. just on the couch. Like there's just none of that. You got none of that going on there. I know clearly. I mean, look, she wrote in her caption things at home that make me happy. So obviously she likes it, but yeah, it's like, where are the framed photos? <laughs> is there a specific room for all of them? There probably is the last, the finale of Kardashians. She talked about like saving all these things. Um, that I guess she keeps in the basement. I don't know that she like wants the kids to have that Kanye like gets rid of and or just she just doesn't think to keep it. But she thinks to keep it because she knows like one day the kids will want it, whether it's Grammys or like all these other things like Kim uh, North wore a jacket that was Kanye's jacket when they were in Paris. But Kanye didn't even have it anymore. It was like somehow it ended up on sale online and Kim bought it so that you know, down the line, the kids could have it. She was like, it's nice. I'm like, well, that's a nice sentiment. Where are all those items? <laughs> where, <laughs> where are all those things kept in this house? In a, in the dungeon? There's this so house seems many like it rooms. has a dungeon. There's so many rooms. I'm sure there's a dungeon. But she yeah. has showed, you know, the, the kids' playroom before, which is very co- colorful and everything's so yeah. organized in a colorful way. So I'm sure there are some places that are homey in there like that's the kind of house if i'm north's friend like i want to have a sleepover at that house because i only want to go there i don't want to live there but i do want to visit there and so i kind of would be like oh wow like there's so much freedom so much room for activities in this house i'm sure they have the coolest toys like you could really run around as a kid you're probably like whoa this is so cool but then as an adult, you're like, this is not homey. Yeah. And they have all that outside space. But then I'm also like, what's their snack pantry look like? Because that was my biggest thing when I was going they, to a friend's no, she's, sleepover. She's shown it. And it's great. Yeah. Oh, hers is good. I couldn't remember if she has like oh, actual no, good snacks. Kim's, I remember being awesome. Her pantry okay. and her kid and her playroom was awesome because Kim yeah. loves or she says like she loves candy and, and snacks. It's Courtney's and house. It's Courtney's house. I'm not going to a sleepover for. Oh yeah. If ugh, if Penelope was like, you want to go to my house from sleepover? I'd be like, I think we could do it at North's house. Yeah. She's got all the good snacks. Or like all your shit is sleeping, vegan. Are we sleeping at your mom or your dad's? <laughs> all your shit is vegan. But yeah. Anyway. Anyway, the divorce is settled. 